name of the film is Who She Is, and I'm with... Sophie Boxdale. And Jordan Dresser. Amazing, amazing film. It talks about the topic that's been so tough to talk about, which is missing and murdered indigenous and native women. And you do this so incredibly beautifully, but, but it's such a tough topic that you do it in first person and you do it with sort of in uh, not cartoon style, but, but with illustration. And tell us, tell us why you made the movie. Well, the purpose of the movie is to bring awareness to mystic murder indigenous women and also tell the story of these women so that people can not only say that they know a person who's affected by this, but also things that we can do to make our community safer. And we wanted the film to be beautiful, to reflect each woman's beauty. We chose a watercolor style animation to really highlight that feminine beauty to bring these women to life on camera and, um, and to enable the audience to have these one-on-one -on -one conversations. We wanted it to be um, each woman telling you, the audience, her story so that you had a deeper connection um, going away from the film. The, the, the figures are so daunting about sexual violence, about murders. Um, yes. Can you... Can you tell me a few of the figures? Because they come at the end of the movie. We can. Like one in six Native women are sexually assaulted during their lifetime. That's like a huge one. And I think it's just the fact that number one, there's not a lot of mechanisms for them to get their stories told, but also for it to be recorded properly. Because a lot of times I think sometimes mistake, um, people check the box of American Indian and different things as well. So that's like a huge thing that comes with it. And um, indigenous um, homicide rates in Wyoming, you know, they make up 3% of Wyoming's population, the indigenous population, but they're 21% of homicide victims, which is just so disproportionate. And we have to be asking the question, why? Um, and, and why are, are these going unsolved? Um, uh, this is the 10th screening of, of the film. And what's been the reaction? It's, Amazing. Yeah, it's been very emotional and people have been, um, taken away a lot of different things from it that are very key. So we're fortunate that we've been touring it. Yeah, it's such a learning experience, I think, for some people who just don't, don't know Native women in their everyday lives, and now they do. Where do we go from here? Well, if people are interested in the film, they could go to calderaproductions.com and go see the website and see upcoming different things, especially to down the road, hopefully a national screening as well. But also, I think, um, talking to their family and their community members about things that we could all do to make our community safe. You mentioned just answering the phone, saying hello, uh, having a connection. What might that do? I think that might help a victim of domestic violence who to hopefully leave their partner. You said already things have started to change in the state. What uh, What's happened? Um, last week, the governor signed into law a missing persons alert system. So when a person goes missing, it will be an alert system to notify individuals to help locate that person. It's like the Amber Alert for children, only it will be for 17, above 17 year olds. Jordan and Sophie, much luck with the film. Thank it's you. an amazing experience for those who get to see it, and hopefully they'll get to see it soon. Thank you for talking with me. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes.